everybody how we doing today well it's Sunday I got no work to do today because I, I don't want to I just don't want to work okay it's really simple but I did want to talk to you guys about something and it's not the mess in my garage this is a disaster zone look at this Getting ready to put a garage heater in here in a couple weeks, and I'm going to be working on this garage this winter, so I'll bring you guys along for those projects. But what I wanted to talk about today, okay, and I talked to my buddy Yard Boy, and I talked to my buddy Randall at Elite about this. I want to talk about YouTube for a minute, and I want to talk about. You know, there's, there's a lot of people that watch these videos that are homeowners, that are guys that are on that fence as to whether they want to start a business or not. And, uh, you know, I don't think we're helping them out very much, man. And I'll tell you why, because we critique each other's channels to hell and back. We really do. I, I see on some people's channels, there's guys that leave comments that say, well, I would have done it this way. I would have done it that way. Okay, if you, you got to think. If you're a new guy and you're starting a lawn care business and you're watching videos, you kind of want to know what you're doing. You kind of want to know the right way to do it. Well, let me tell you something. There is no wrong way to do lawn care that's right I said there's no wrong way you cut the yard the way you want to cut it you trim the hedges the way you want to trim it is there is there specific ways to do things yes but in the end man nobody's wrong in blowing leaves to a trailer and sucking them up in a vacuum Nobody's wrong in using gator blades. Nobody's wrong in blowing them out to the curb to let them, to let the city come and pick them up. Nobody's wrong in raking the yard. If all you can afford is a rake, use it, man. Just because somebody else can afford a $700 blower doesn't mean you have to go spend the money to buy one. You know what I'm saying? I just think that we're coming at this the whole wrong way with a lot of these videos we're making, me included. It took many years, many years to be able to buy some of the equipment I bought. I didn't just, you know, I wasn't able to go out and buy a backpack blower until three years ago. A lot of people made fun of me. You're doing leaves with a handheld blower? Yeah, because you know why? That's what I could afford. Um, and, and I want to talk about this too, equipment. I don't care who you are, what equipment you use. If it gets the job completed and you get paid, you know what? Good for you, man. I don't care if it's Echo Steel, Home Light, Craftsman. What makes, what makes it, what does it, what does it matter whether a guy uses a handheld blower, a rake, or a backpack blower? Yes, equipment helps get the job done faster. But when you're starting out, you don't need it. You don't need all that fancy equipment, man. In fact, I don't have a lot of fancy equipment right now. I mean, let me show you. I, I, I got a little Toro mower. I bought me a new spreader this year. I got a couple trimmers, a blower, and I got a mower. Are, are they nice? Yes, they're nice. I've, I've got a wheelbarrow. Got a set of hedge trimmers. I got me a 
MS-170 saw. Everybody laughs and says, the MS-170, it doesn't do anything. Well, that thing has cut down more trees than I can count on one hand. And it cost me like 200 and some dollars. It's five, six years old. Why do I need to go buy a $500 chainsaw to cut down a tree that's four inches around. I, I, I don't need to do that. I'm not a tree guy, okay? Um, the, the point to the video is why don't we start building people up saying, man, I respect the hard work you're doing. And hey, let me tell you something. If you can afford to do this, this is how I do it. Don't we watch videos to pick up on little tips and tricks from guys? Isn't that, way, isn't that why we watch videos? I mean, that's why I watch videos. I watch videos to see if there's something I can do just a little bit quicker uh, to do a little bit better um, and that makes my job just that much easier. I don't watch YouTube videos to critique how a guy is blowing leaves or what mower he's using to cut his leaves up with. I could care less. So my point is, now do we razz our buddies about what, of course, because I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, Blake from New Vision with that uh, Toro, <laughs> just kidding, Blake. Uh, also, Man, I want to give a huge shout out to my bunny, my buddy, bunny, my buddy, Finest Edge Lawn Care. Met this guy a couple weeks ago. Of course, he's a skag man. Skag Nation, baby. You know, great guy. Check his channel out, man. Give him a subscribe. Give him a like. Watch his stuff. He does some really good work. Anyway, I guess the point of the video, man, really is to say, guys, let's support each other. We're all going through some rough times right now. You know what I mean? Uh, in certain spots of the country, things are rough. Weather's getting bad for certain people. Um, don't worry about, here's another thing, man, about YouTube. Don't worry about who watches your videos Worry about who you connect with, okay? Are you helping somebody? Are you, and my content isn't the best in the world, I know that, but my content is me. My content is me talking to you, hoping that someday I'll get another email like so many I've gotten before that said, man, thanks for helping me out. I like the videos. I watch how you did this and it helped me. That's all I'm here to do, man. That's all I'm here to do. I hope I help people. I hope people understand you don't have to be rich to do this as a career. You don't have to have brand new trucks. You don't have to have brand new mowers. Um, you can get out here like I did with a push mower and a broom and you can build up. Now, look, I had a big fancy nice new dump trailer we were going to buy another newer truck. I got the green touch racks. I got, I had two mowers. I had all this stuff, but in the end, it didn't make any sense to me. And I, what I did is I allowed YouTube to uh, influence what I was doing. And that's the truth. I let people on YouTube tell me you ought to be doing this. You ought to be doing that. And uh, I'll be honest. I make about the same amount of money I did this year by myself as I did with an employee, two trucks on the road. When you got all that going on, you've got double the expenses, okay? I don't know, guys. Watch videos to learn. Watch videos because you like the guy. Watch them because you don't like the guy. I mean, whatever. I don't know what, I don't know what turns people's knob you know to watch a video all i know is i'm doing lawn care videos sometimes and sometimes i'll do whatever i want you know 
if you have all this useful information to give as a viewer, pick up a camera, turn it on, and share it with people. Don't come on their channel and tell them everything they're doing wrong. If you know what's best, pick up a damn camera and start recording and show how great you are. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but those typically are the ones who are like the YouTube couch cowboys. You know, they'll tell you how to do it, but they're not out really doing it. So big shout out to Elite. Big shout out to my buddy Wild Bill who's out there working a full-time job and uh, doing some lawn care on the side. Any of you guys who are out there doing lawn care and understand the struggle, not getting new equipment every day to review or some companies paying you thousands of dollars to travel all over the country and give a speech. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about real lawn care, okay? If you know that grind and you understand that hustle, subscribe to the channel, like the video, follow me. I just think it's time in 2022 that we all move on and start supporting these people in lawn care that are doing the work. The small channels, the guys who have 150 subscribers, the guys that have got 30 subscribers, the guys that have got 50, and they're sitting there wondering, what can I possibly do to get better? You know what, don't worry about that. Do you, do your videos, don't get caught up in any of the crap that happens on YouTube and just enjoy it, man, because you're out making a living. So guys, for whatever it's worth, whatever you get out of this video, I hope you like it. And uh, I appreciate everyone who's been through this journey with me for three years on YouTube. Next year... It's just going to be me being me, man, doing my thing in our little house, making our mundane little income while everybody else is out with 10, 12, 13 crews driving around on their, in their big trucks. I'm just going to be doing me. And that's good enough for me. So as always, guys, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real, man. And uh, I have got a mess to clean up in this garage, wouldn't you say? I mean, this is a disaster. So we're going to get on it. And if you have a sticker you want to send me, please send me one. I'm out of here. Peace.